Hi, this is Scott Garibay, and today we're going to talk about Dungeons & Dragons 5th Edition and the Book of Henry and the fascinating question that the Book of Henry poses, uh, which is, which is worse, violence or apathy? All right, so the Book of Henry is a really, really fascinating film. Uh, I watched this, and uh, it was a really fantastic film. I really, really liked it, Um, but it, it posed a fascinating question. So, um, Henry is a 11 year old who is two things. He's a genius and he's sick. He has uh, some type of condition where he has a, like a tumor in his brain and he could die. Right. So, uh, so he has this, you know, terrible situation going on and he's, he's got this situation where he, you know, he, he could, he could die at any minute. Right. So he lives with his mother and his brother. Dad's out of the picture, um, which is, that happens. There's uh, I, there's more and more families like that. I think all the time where it's just one spouse and, and not it's one parent and not two parents. Not even spouses are really in the mix a lot nowadays. So uh, so you know kind of a traditional family. You know one one parent and um, and basically so so Henry is is going about his business and uh, and then he lives next door to a girl he likes now. She's his age. I think she's maybe a year or two older. She's like 12 or 13. And she lives in also a one-parent family, right? So that parent, her dad is the police chief in their town, okay? And he abuses her. So Henry sees this. He sees all the classic signs of abuse. And so he goes to his school principal and he says, um, you're the school principal uh, and my, my, my fellow student is being abused by their parent. I want you to take care of this. Get, get this done. Right, uh, you know, um, fix this, right? And she's like, "Do you have hard evidence?" And he's like, "I don't have hard evidence, but here's here's all the signs, right?" And I'm smart enough to see it, and you could see it too, right? And um, so she said, "So the so the principal says, listen, he's the police chief, and you are a child, right? So that ain't gonna work, and I'm not gonna do anything." So Henry's like, "Okay, fine, I'll handle this myself." So Henry reports. The dad, the police chief dad, and said, you know, calls him into to um, child services and says, "Hey, this girl's being abused. Take care of this, right?" And he's like, uh, "No," uh, and so he's like, "Take care of this, please," right? And they, so literally, the police send somebody out and they, you know, they shake hands with the police chief and they say, "Bring your daughter out," and uh, and he's like, "Hey, look, she's fine." And you don't need to check any more than the talk we just had. And it's finished. Because he's a police chief, he just brushes the whole thing away. And so Henry lives in a world where his friend is not going to be able to be freed from the abuser. Right? So Henry then has this situation where he realizes that he, his sickness is increasing. And that he's going to die in six months. So what he does is he creates the book of Henry. He takes a red notebook and he carefully calculates and orchestrates and writes down the perfect way to murder the police chief, right? So that the abuser can be freed from the, um, so that the abuser can be freed from the, uh, you know, from her abuser, right? And what gets really interesting is um, he also, Henry also realizes that he's going to die soon, right? And his mom's going to be very uh, upset, right? But she'll also be highly likely to give him whatever he asked for. And so his request, his dying request, is literally the murder of the police chief because he's abusing his daughter, right? And his mother, now, he, he, you know, Henry throws some signals that he's going to be, that he wants this guy dead, right? And his, and, and, and Henry actually says, hey, why don't we do anything? Why don't, why don't we just let this continue, right? And his mother's like, well, you know, he's a violent man. And if we get in the way of what's happening over there, there's going to be violence, right? And, um, and Henry says, well, you know what? There's, there's worse things than violence. And his mom's like, what's worse than violence? And he says, you know what's worse than violence? Apathy. And so that's the question. That's what this movie posits, right? Now, what I think is really interesting is we, we now live in this world. So basically we live in a world where the, the book of Henry is very, very real. The idea that, uh, if you were to say X, Y, Z is, is re, you know, it, if you were to accuse a police officer and you know the and it's your word against then this was written, written 2 3 years before BLM right and before BLM summer and now 
you know, on the other side of that, we're like, oh yeah, there's there's some serious problems. Like if you're accusing a police officer of X Y Z, that could be that could get real bad for you real fast, right? And so what's really fascinating is where we've landed. Um, this movie was quite prescient, and it, it it asked the question of which is what are you gonna something's wrong something wrong is going on. There's something wrong happening right now. What are you gonna do? Are you gonna be apathetic? Or are you gonna be violent? Right? Because those are the two choices, right? And it's really really fascinating. It's a fascinating question of you know what do we do? We do we be apathetic or we do or be violent? And frankly, I think the vast majority, we just figured this out, right? With Blee LM Summer. And we, we have a system where literally millions of people are choosing apathy, right? And, and our society is like, apathy's the path. And I get it, right? I don't want, I don't want violence coming up in my life. I don't want to see violence anywhere near, right? What's really fascinating to me as a dungeon master is again, just the value of Dungeons and Dragons just goes up and up and up. We realize now, there's no question, people are living in a world where they constantly are having to choose apathy because the society just doesn't allow violence. Uh, it just it just doesn't, right? And so, and and I think people feel terrible about that. They feel really bad being in this situation where they they see things that are going wrong, right, uh, left and right, and they're like, I have to choose apathy, just like the mother did. She chose apathy. She never chose violence, right? And um and What's really fascinating is it's different in Dungeons and Dragons because Dungeons and Dragons is bloodless because it's a world of words because it's a world of concepts because it's a world of ideas. People can have impact. They don't have to choose apathy. There is violence in Dungeons and Dragons games. It's a third of the game. It's not the majority of the game. It's a third of the game. Dungeons and Dragons Fifth Edition has three pillars: interaction, exploration, and combat. So one third of your options is when push comes to shove, you could shove. Right? You don't have to choose apathy. And I think it's one of the reasons why people are flocking to Dungeons & Dragons now and why I think millions more will flock to Dungeons & Dragons in the, in the future is uh, in, in the, the Dungeons & Dragons world, you're, you don't always have to choose inaction over action. And things can change and there can be differences and impact. I think it, it just... It, it amazes me how valuable the game is, how precious the game is, how special it is, how unique it is, how powerful it is, and how few people see it for what it really is. Um, fascinating movie. If you're a dungeon master, you got to watch Book of Henry because it's asking. Because guess what? Henry asked the question in the movie: What's what? What's worse, violence or apathy? Right? And and Henry's answer was apathy is worse. Right? Um, and we, as Dungeon Masters, we ask this in every game, which is worse, violence or apathy. But the difference is, in that world, in that bloodless world, in that world of ideas, in that world of, of, of concept, in that world of words, our actions can have impact. That's interesting. I think that's fascinating. And I think more and more people are going to want that going forward, especially in a world where we've learned... You got a problem with if you're a, just a regular Joe Blow and you got a problem with uh, with the you know with law enforcement, phew, that's going to be rough to get that actually handled. Uh, and it's really prescient how Book Henry was looking at that question years before it came to the main to the main four. Well, that's my opinion. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Let me know in the comments below. Have you have you read Book of Henry? Have you seen Book of Henry? Um, and in your game, and also, do you think that is what we're doing in each game? We're act, we're saying, hey, the goblins are going to come. The goblins are coming. They're going to burn the village to the ground. Are you going to be apathetic? Or are you going to be violent? Isn't that the question we're po we're posing for player characters? Because players already have their answer chosen for them by society. Love to hear your thoughts. Let me know in the comments below. Please consider liking, subscribing, and have a wonderful millennium.